Human Resources Department. Next slide, Human Resources and its managing aspects. Some of the strategies that we use to manage individuals are to be on-site training as well as the motivation aspects of human resources. Some of the strategies that our company has put into place to help motivate many of our employees are things like reward-based ideas and employees of the month programs have been put into place in many of the departments throughout the company. Our company wants every one of our employees to know that if they work hard and show true passion for the work they do, that they can go, that they can and will go far. Human resources and conflict resolution. Some of the possible conflicts that emerge with our company could be personality conflicts. These types of conflicts are non-productive and cause many problems with the workplace, for example, dropping productivity, or even could create a hostile work environment for fellow employees. <laughs> The strategy that my department, our department, would advise the management in which every department this was taking place in to use human resources leadership. The strategies that our company will use are employee feedback from every department and how they feel about the company as a whole and their direct supervisors. We would also use quarterly department reviews. We would use the reviews and the feedback from the employees to ensure all the management teams are effective leaders. For our management team to be an effective leader, they must possess the five traits. At Sky High Drain Racing, our sales department's central culture of the organization is to provide quality service to our customers with efficient and productive mannerisms. As the manager of the sales department. I believe our culture is based off of a fun, family-friendly environment with an emphasis on changing with the new drone technologies. So in order to properly manage our employees and to bring the best that we can to our customers, we use motivational tactics so we also we use within these motivational tactics we use intrinsic and extrinsic motivation. So extrinsic is like bonuses and you know raises, things like that. So here at Sky High Drone Racing, we have a diverse sales team. And for us that's a benefit because it allows all these different kinds of perspectives to come together and actively create and listen and just feed off of one another's great ideas that are different than the other person's who has a different culture, background, or experience. So we love diversity here and we love, we love the fact that we're a diverse organization but it doesn't mean that there won't be conflicts. Sometimes there will be personality conflicts because of our diversity. Nobody is exactly alike anyways, even if they're from the same culture and they may have the same passion, but that doesn't mean that they have the same personality. So sometimes there's bound to be a conflict there. Now, when we do have these conflicts, we To ensure that we all are treated properly, all the employees, customers, you know, fellow managers, our organization is thriving on the fact that we use equity and compromise. In our sales department, we use that. For our leadership style, uh, we like to make sure that everybody has the same amount of the culture in the research and development department at Sky High Drone Racing is one like no other. In this department, we will research the best type of racing events for our customers, as well as sell and repair drones. We promise to always create the best drone racing experience that our customers will ever have. When it comes to managing our employees, the research and development department will always keep it professional. 
We maintain a diverse atmosphere to keep a proper balance. And in addition to keeping everyone up to date on everything, we also stay involved with our employees to keep that open door feeling. We all know that not everyone is motivated by the same thing. After all, there are numerous reasons why individuals come to work each day. During my hiring process in the research and development department, I am always sure to ask the candidate what motivates them in regards to job satisfaction. I feel that this will tell me what I need to know about this person if I were to hire them and what type of work ethic I can expect. It can be very challenging balancing your home life and work life at the same time. In the research and development department, every now and then an employee's personal life can interfere with the work that needs to get done here at Sky High Drone Racing. I typically use the compromising problem solving strategy because I understand that things do come up that cannot be planned or avoided. In the research and development department, I use the problem solving style as my leadership technique to guide my employees. This particular method confronts issues head on by weighing all of the possible alternatives and by choosing a sensible solution. The culture of the marketing department of Sky High Drone Racing carries qualities that reflect the sport and the company itself. Our company is fun-loving, action-seeking, and fearless. We promote a sport that offers excitement for the thrill-seekers and speed-lovers of the community. Our employees dress in business casual to be approachable to our customers and always be ready for fun. Our races are exciting and fun, no matter if you're racing or watching. Everyone should leave feeling like a winner, no matter your level of participation. That's our motivation. We manage our department as a team, but treat each other as unique. We strive to bring out the best in people by identifying a person's best and encouraging them all to work together. We make a great marketing team for Sky High Drone Racing. In the rare event of a conflict, we encourage the employees involved to come to an agreement and work the conflict out. This style of compromising of conflict handling has proven very successful in the past. As a good, solid marketing team, we have a shared leadership. Several members lead and work to develop several new leaders at a time to always have coverage. Everyone understands their roles and what is expected of them daily to serve in this marketing department. So under the IT culture, the artifacts that we have is that we're a very casual environment, uh, very laid back, no stress. Main thing is that we break away about every hour unless already in a focused state of work. 
we do this because most of the time people who take a break every about every hour usually have a higher productivity so we encourage about every hour at least 10 minutes of break time and on the breaks the employees are usually moving around exercising grabbing a snack um, and this is also just kind of the break away just for a few minutes that way when you come back to work your mindset is on that because you have that sense of you've had a relaxation moment so the, the our exposed values are work communication health of body and mind and work on focus which are described further on with communication In the IT department, we use firm action and relationship building to manage our employees. We know everyone has a difference, has differences to some degree, which we think that brings different creativity. We want the team to be emotionally stable and value people who have an internal locus of control. Research has shown that people who have locus of control internally is more likely to be leadership material communicative and takes responsibility for their actions. Learning about one another is key to success for managing. Management will always challenge employees with the goals and standards to meet. It's understanding that goals need to be set for people to achieve. That way there is a sense of accomplishment and happiness. Motivating our employees successfully is understanding what mot motivates each in person individually. Knowing if a person is more intrinsically or extrinsically motivated is one aspect we look at to fill the needs of our employees. An example of this is ha having a higher pay rate or on the other hand, uh, gathering a skill for themselves. Continuous reinforcement is used to remind our employees that breaks are recommended and that teamwork comes from socializing. We also look at each person's equity sensitivity to help keep emotional stability. IT uses the stuff obliging others and if needed problem solving. Obliging is used if the problems are small and easy to fix, which leads to saving time. If the problem is too big and complex, then the problem solving will be used since it will need more time to solve and more thought power. When the problem is solved, then it's written out and explained on why the results are what they are. Leading starts with being well organized and forming a team, setting a common goal to complete together and setting roles is important. Being able to brainstorm together is another great way to build a team up. However, it's best to be mindful that choices are best picked by vote and explained out why it is best.